Hello. My name is Aaron Weiss, and I live in the town of Poughkeepsie. I'm a combat veteran of Iraq, and I'm also a law enforcement officer. I attended the Public Safety Committee's last meeting in regards to this resolution, but I didn't say anything because I wanted to hear what everyone else had to say. And I heard some shocking things from some people and some legislators. They said that it took a lot of courage to pass this SAFE Act. Apparently, my definition of courage differs from yours. You see, if it was really so courageous a bill and it took so much courage to pass it, then why was it done in the middle of the night when no one could see it or read it? That's not courage. That's a mafia-style sit-down to divvy up what's good for the bosses. Courage is taking the right and true course of action, not the politically expedient one. And anyone who is proud of this law must also be proud of the Patriot Act, the TSA, imprisoning Japanese citizens in World War II, since all these actions were spurred on by emotional fear and rammed through in the name of public safety. Another issue is the insistence of certain people to stand on the graves of dead children and challenge those that disagree to say it to the parents' faces. Well, I, for one, will pick up that gauntlet. First off, why is dead children your battle cry? You didn't say anything about the hundreds of Chicago children being killed, and for some reason you only scream when it happens to wealthy white ones. And yes, I will say to anyone's face, my right is more important than your dead because I fought for it firsthand. I washed the blood of my friends out of, the, out of my Humvee, and I picked up their mangled bodies, and I fought day in and day out. I did more things that you people can't imagine. So yeah, my right trumps your dead. I earned it in blood. I gave up a lot for this country, including my youth, and better men than me gave up a whole lot more so that all you, myself included, could enjoy the rights that are guaranteed to us in our Constitution and Bill of Rights. And we didn't go through all that to come back home and watch the surrender of what we fought for happen based on the demented actions of a couple madmen. So in closing, I would like to address specifically the legislators we all know who are going to vote against this resolution. I understand you will vote against this resolution based on some misguided sense of the public good. However, as a law enforcement officer, I'm curious to know about your true resolve. Since voting to take away someone's rights is totally different than being asked to enforce it, I want you to consider this. If you support the SAFE Act so wholeheartedly, are you willing to stand with law enforcement members and lead from the front to enforcement? And what I mean by that is if a constituent of yours feels so alienated by this law and the manner in which it was passed that they refuse to comply with it, are you willing to stack up on their front door and go in first? I bet if a clause was in this bill that required you, the elected leadership, our elected leaders, to go in the door first, I bet you would not be so steadfast.